Hello, my lovely Taurians. This is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and we're here for your October 2020 reading. Taurus, oh my goodness, I have been, <laughs> I've been seeing so many images for you, so many images for you. Michael's been showing me, uh, first of all, first image, um, a surgeon applying stitches to a wound. Okay, somebody in convalescence, healing, okay, allowing the wound to heal. Um, I then saw, I then saw in this hospital room, a man come in with a huge bouquet of red roses, huge. And the woman who had been stitched up, just shocked. Just, oh my God, I can't believe that you're here with this huge bouquet of red roses for me. What Michael's been telling me is that you've gone through a really difficult time. You were wounded very deeply because all of his visions are symbolic, as you guys know by now. And if those of you who are new to the channel don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Archangel Michael. I connect with Archangel Michael. So this is a deep wound, Taurus, that you have been healing from. But what is going to complete your healing is new love coming in. Someone that either you have just met or someone that you are just about to meet. And you're going to look back, Taurus, and understand why you had to go through what you went through. Because you weren't with the right person. I think you hung on. To your person or you are hanging on to your person for dear life because of fear of being single fear of letting go fear of the chaos that maybe a split would bring could be same sex could be male female whatever this is okay i'm feeling i'm connected with a male female couple so what we have here is actually you moving into a new cycle taurus this is going to be a beautiful time for you to get back to you, for you to concentrate on you. And there is romance, Michael's telling me, just around the corner. Now, some of you have already experienced this and you know what I'm talking about. You'll think, yeah, I have actually just met someone. Some of you are there still feeling the pain of going through an ending. OK, but let's keep our spirits high. Let's begin. So we have... An angel or quartz, which does help me connect with Archangel Michael, Divine Source. I bless the deck, Paolo Santo, okay, um, as I usually do. Um, and I am nice and balanced at the moment. Mm. I'm hearing the words assessing a past situation. And I'm also hearing seeing things differently. Maybe understanding, you know what, I wasn't actually that blissfully happy in my old relationship. Not really. Not really. And maybe coming to the understanding that this really had to, had to go. All right. Anyway, let's move into this. So Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. This is for my beautiful Taurians for October 2020. Michael wants me to show this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ten of Cups in the reverse. So you could have ended a long-term situation. Uh, living together, actually married. Um, I think on a practical basis, Taurus, wow, cars are flying. If you've already gone through this, you would have received settlement. I think financially most of you are quite secure. It could be because you've just been working damn hard yourself, okay? Uh, you are very practical. You don't mind putting in the hard work. Okay, so Michael, are we ready, please? I'm hearing Archangel Azrael is here, Archangel Sandalphon, and Archangel Jophiel. Interesting. Okay, my two spirit guides are with me, Angela and Rose. Please bless this deck, Michael. Okay, let's begin. feeling very calm hmm okay <laughs> and that is not a calm energy but interesting let's just see okay yeah all right mm. yep 
Yes, that card I saw quite a lot when I was shuffling. Interesting. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. Wow. Wow. Opening up again, Taurus, to love. Opening up to love. You will be. For those of you who are sat feeling a bit miserable right now, you will be, my loves, okay? Prayers and thoughts go out to you if you're going through a tough time. I think some of you have been. Some of you are at the moment. But... You've got very, oh my goodness, yeah, you've got such a lot of happiness coming in. Yeah, wow, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael's saying the divine is bringing in someone that is going to stand by your side for the rest of your life. Oh my goodness, and I'm feeling quite teary. Oh, how lovely is that? Okay. Under the deck, the hanging man in reverse, getting a wake-up call. Yes, I had to leave a situation behind. Could have been a wake-up call about a Leo, all right? Or you were just feeling as if you knew that this ending was going to come and you were just feeling very confused, maybe no enlightenment. Why did this suddenly happen? Why is my person or did my person pull away from me? All right. Yeah. All right. Bless you. Bless you, Taurus. So feeling a little bit unbalanced and I'm feeling very shaky, feeling a bit unbalanced. That's your energy of Taurus. OK, but oh, my goodness, guys, you have such a lot of happiness to come. You really do. All right. So stick with it. And we're going to be doing extra clarification towards the end of the reading. All right. Taurus, let's check the camera. All right. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we start off with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Mm, Taurus, you could have fire as major placements in your natal chart, moon rising Venus. Okay. This is you very angry and upset at the moment. You're dealing with financial issues to do with your person. Okay. I'm really feeling this is what this is. Now, you could also have heard that your person is deciding to end the situation with you because they want to offer commitment to someone that they may have had an affair with. Could have been a fire sign woman. This is sometimes my mistress card. And this person has now left the situation and your person has decided that they want to be with this woman. Okay, I'm so sorry to relay that to you guys, but that is what I'm hearing and reading and feeling in this. In the past, look at where you were, Taurus. Wasn't actually that happy and loved up, was it? It was financially secure, but there's a cobweb there. I don't think you really wanted to be there, but you couldn't admit it to yourself because I don't think you wanted to face the disruption of ending this situation. And here we have you with the moon energy sat in fear. Sound in fear. Maybe keeping secrets yourself. That you were unhappy. Determined to hang on to this. This is also Cancerian energy. For me, the moon and the crab in this particular deck is definitely Cancer. So you could have heard about a Cancerian, maybe a third person in a mix. Could be that you have that in your chart. If not, this is... Keeping a secret that actually the reason why you wanted to hang on to this connection was because you were worried about the financial instability that a separation would bring you. No disrespect. We're all, we've all been there, right? You have to pay your rent, mortgage, your taxes. You know, it's all very well to say, well, you shouldn't stay just for the money. But yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah, um, life is life. What you're thinking about is the page of wands. Now, you could have potentially found out that your person was passionately messaging someone else. 
you could have had to deal with a child. This could also be very immature conversation, texting, okay? If there was a division between you and your person, you guys split then this is potentially a little bit of immature. You did this, you did that, you did this, you did that, right? Um, when actually all this was, was just upset and fear of losing your person. We have two women here, guys, okay? Now this could be same sex, sure. But I'm feeling this is you moving out of a place of anger and understanding that even though this is very difficult, whether you're going through it now, whether you're about to go through it, whether you've gone through it, you are financially stable, which I have to say, if this was something that you were fearful of losing, okay, and again, no disrespect at all, guys, it may have been the reason why you stayed for so long. There's a sense of freedom and stability coming in with the Queen of Pentacles. So Archangel Michael, when is that energy coming in, please? Beginning of November. Okay. So it could have taken a few months for you to wrap this situation up. You could be halfway there. You could be just at the brink of signing the final papers if this is divorce. This is you waiting for a property to sell if you guys were just living together, whatever this is. You're financially secure. And yes, Taurus, I'm not feeling this is a brand new relationship for you. I'm feeling this is you financially secure. So you've moved away from this fear of financial instability. And I think you have gone with it. It may not be what you wanted to accept the fact that this was over, to agree to separating, but I think you have. But I think you also know that you're going to be fine. You are fine. And this is you standing in your power, healing. Remember those stitches, healing, convalescing. Okay, I'm actually all right. I'm good. I'm good. In the environment is your person who has let the situation go with you. Ten of Wands. For whatever reason, Taurus, they were burdened. And I don't know why, it may have been something to do with distance between the two of you, emotional, geographical. It could be that they felt they were carrying the whole relationship. So this could have been a codependent relationship when you didn't really work and they made most of the money. It could be that they were stressed about making this decision. Do I do this? There might have been children or a child involved, but they decided, I just can't carry this load anymore for whatever reason. And Taurus, this is not you taking this personally. This is you understanding that just this was a difficult situation, a cycle that had to complete. It had to complete. And to be honest with you, I don't see a lot of big love energies, romance, soulmate. I don't. And I know it's difficult, Taurus, but... It may be that the love went out of this connection a long time ago. You just couldn't admit it. They couldn't admit it. But this is over. But this is you. Very strong and healing. What you're fearful of, Four of Cups. Fearful that the next person that comes along to offer you love you're going to reject it due to fear. Fear of it not working out again. Fear of being left behind again. Maybe abandonment issues. Fear that you've lost that desire for love in general. Maybe I should just feel I'm going to be on my own for the rest of my life. I'm never going to meet anyone. But that's just your fear kicking in, Taurus. And as I always say, it is not a real emotion, okay? This is you worried about something that hasn't happened yet. Fear. You're going to be on your own. You're not. I can tell you you're not.
in your hopes. Six of Wands in the reverse. Hoping that you can get back on your feet. You can get back on the horse. I think this might have been a little bit of blow to your self-esteem, your self-confidence. It may have made you feel very insecure. This could be about how you felt about yourself physically, emotionally, okay? It may be that other family members are around you at this time and they're kind of consoling you. There could be a slight, I'm just embarrassed about the whole thing. I'm a bit mortified that I wasn't good enough. I'm a bit mortified my person walked away from me. Okay, you just need to get your self-esteem and self-confidence going again, Taurus. But this is a beautiful energy. I'm also feeling a certain sense of justice, okay? Well, you wanted to leave me, but I've kind of got the money. <laughs> so see ya type of energy. The final card for you, Taurus, is really lovely because, wow, Michael showed me a rose opening in slow motion. You're opening back up to love. And he's also telling me rose quartz. Now, rose quartz attracts love to someone, okay? that particular crystal. So if you're looking for love, then whether you hold it in your hand, whether you wear it as a bracelet, do find a little piece of rose quartz or something that is rose quartz and wear it because it will attract love to you. And that is what's happening. You're opening up to love. This is where you are now. I don't want to meet anyone else. I don't want to see anyone else. I definitely don't want to talk to my ex. Okay. Holding yourself up, just recuperating. But this is also you, Taurus, blindfold, not wanting to feel what you felt, which may be for some of you, deep, deep down, I knew that this relationship was over. I knew the love had gone. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to feel it. This is you understanding the relationship actually wasn't working. If I'm really honest with myself, Taurus, this is what you're saying. If I'm really honest with myself, we weren't in love anymore. We have no connection anymore. Maybe for some of you, it wasn't even practical. It just wasn't working for a long time. You're admitting this. You may even be, after a period of time, expressing that to your ex. You know what? Yes, I was angry. Yes, I was upset when you said we have to end this. But yeah, I've got to be honest. Things hadn't been working for a long time. Maybe this was what had to happen. But going back to the first energy I'm getting from this, this is you opening up to new love. It's coming in, Taurus. For some of you, this is going to be a very tentative move forward with someone that you really want to take it slowly with, but it's coming in. Ace of Cups. New love. Real love. Nurturing yourself and nurturing a situation. It's just the beginning, but this is divinely guided. It's divinely guided. You could be connecting in the future with a Pisces, Leo or Sagittarius. We have the Sagittarius card here, but I do feel more than anything else, Taurus, this is you wanting to take things slowly. This is you healing. This is you getting your balance back. This is also a lot of love and support from the fifth dimension, from the angels, from the archangels, from the ascended masters. Allow this healing to come in. Balancing your emotions and taking this new situation very slowly. With the nine of cups, I am feeling this is what happened in the past, to be honest. 
The Nine of Cups is potentially a third party situation. Maybe your person met someone else. It might have been unexpected. And this is why the situation went down. But with judgment next to that, the divine called time, knowing that this was a difficult situation for the both of you and that a decision had to be made. And I feel that decision was, yes, we have to end this. It's going to be painful. It's going to be difficult, but we do. We have to let this go now because Taurus in the nicest sense, where is the love? You know, it might have been a love that was very deep. It could have been your first love, childhood love, but it might have been a situation where the two of you were just very close, maybe as friends, maybe as companions, rather than a deep love of two people in love, lovers. I think maybe the romance and passion just went and you both know that you were just sitting there feeling nice and stable, but neither of you being very happy. This is the divine saying, Taurus, I want you to be happy. You have to let go of this because we want to bring in new love. So, guys, let's delve a little bit deeper. Archangel Michael, what is the Queen of Pentacles energy? I think this is you, Taurus, dealing with maybe a little bit of a shock. Okay. That someone wanted to end a situation with you. I think you were very fearful. I think you were very worried. But I think, to be honest, it might have been, in the nicer sense, worried about the financial implications of being single again. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, bless you, Taurus, my loves. I want to give you a big hug. Um, Tower in reverse. Dealing with the aftermath of a shock, which could be your person saying, I'm sorry, we have to let this go. Scorpio energy. This is you, Taurian energy, feeling very unbalanced, but this is also the ending of a legal contract, possibly marriage, divorce. You might have been worried about this for a while, sleepless nights. How is this going to affect me, the children, my money? You got clarity. And the clarity was, given that we've got the Queen of Pentacles, that we're clarifying your financial stability was paramount to you. And your person knew that. So I think they've done the right thing, or they will be. Sitting in a place of fear, yes, about losing the money, ending this long-term situation. And you're kind of still healing. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is this person's energy, please? They're letting this go. They're letting this go. Wow, I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing very strong Aries energy for some reason. Okay, we've got strength, which is Leo. So your person could be a Leo, okay? Or with a lot of strength, courage and confidence, they decided to end the situation with you. There could also have been a third party who was a Leo. Aries, okay. So this is your person who may have had an affair with somebody. And you found out. This person might have ended up being very generous in a court case with you or the reason why your person stepped out, Taurus, and I really hate to say this because I love you guys, is that they might have felt abandoned. They might have felt they didn't get the love and affection and attention that they needed. This is someone feeling very disconnected from you, very on their own, very left out in the cold and very isolated, very lonely. And maybe that's why they ended up having an affair with someone else, because they felt that they weren't getting what they needed from you. No disrespect, guys. 
The hermit is someone who feels very sad, very alone, very disconnected. Or they could be going through a little bit of midlife crisis. Maybe they are feeling sad about a Virgo. Six of Pentacles. This is dividing the money. Aries again. They want to take a little bit of a leap of faith and a risk in a new life. Could be just they want to be single. Okay. So Archangel Michael, what is the Two of Swords in reverse, please, for my beautiful Taurians? I think this is maybe child support. Okay, child support coming through. But I also feel that you've got someone coming in who has a lot of love for you or will be falling in love with you. And this is the divine helping you get through this. Helping you get through this. And I think you're going to embrace this new life, this new situation. For some of you, you may also be relocating, moving, traveling. But this is going to be a very powerful new connection coming in, Taurus. And it's going to help you heal the last of the pain that has been caused for you in this disconnection. Page of Pentacles. Someone who wants to start dating you seriously. You could be connecting with a younger earth sign. This is you getting child support for the children, maybe. This for me sometimes is fi finally signing the divorce papers. Look at you, Taurus. This is you, finally healing, very content, financially stable, and you are nurturing yourself, okay? Some of you, this is, you know, clearing out old furniture, old clothes, clearing out the attic, the loft, going on a big detox, going for a spa weekend, getting yourself back together again, spending time with your kids, whatever this is for you. Look how beautiful you are. And you're so calm in that energy. I think with the King of Cups, you will have someone coming in relatively quickly for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe. But this is you. Understanding that this could be someone that you were supposed to be with all along. Yes, this is definitely divinely guided. The divine wants you to be happy, in love, on a new path. There's a little bit of nostalgia about leaving the past behind, of course. You know, you can't switch off emotions just like that. But there is no going back to the past. You're moving forward on a new journey. You've made the decision, I don't want to be stuck anymore, I'm moving forward. Interesting, some of you are actually relocating, going to live in a new area. Some of you are passionately messaging whoever this King of Cups is, because you're realising this may have been the person that you were supposed to be with, and that's why all this had to happen. Yes. Lovers. So you could have a choice between two new suitors. We have Leo, we have Sagittarius, we have Pisces, we have Gemini. Beautiful. If not, this is a very strong connection. Oh my goodness. And we have Ace of Pentacles. This is just the start, Taurus, but it's going to go the distance for you. Okay, my dears? Oh, Taurus. I think this is a beautiful reading. I'm going to leave it there. If this is for you, do reach out, okay? And we can do a private reading to see what might transpire with this new relationship. I think you've got a lot of happiness just around the corner. You've broken free. And yes, it was difficult. It made you unbalanced and stressed. But I think, look at what's coming in. You know, healing, new love, happiness, excitement. And I feel this has been divinely guided. So, sending love and light your way. Many blessings, Taurus. Take care of yourselves right now. Thank you for being here. And um, I shall be back very soon. Bye now.